prison over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh why me, oh why me 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 I don't know why haters be telling me to mind my business When they are telling not minding theirs Shut your mouth and enjoy the tea We all know you're here for it since Jazz, how are you guys doing? It's a girl. I'm Shogori, aka Miss Fia for Corporate Back Boy Entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, almost definitely welcome. Please do subscribe and of course the bell. I absolutely love it. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram. It's at oh, I'm Shongwan, okay? Now, when just this, I feel like it's just a bit of um, an announcement, I should say. And this is because I was actually touched. Um, you guys know that you know I've been doing shout outs, I do promote people's stuff. But for a while now, I'd say maybe about a month or almost two months, I've not been doing that, you guys. And truth of the matter is, I've not been well physically. I've been physically sick, you guys. And uh, I, I know, whenever I'm here, like I'm laughing and everything, but yeah, I've been in a lot of discomfort. Um, I know what the problem is, and it's something that obviously can be fixed. So I, I'm taking some medication and... Uh, you know like we're working it out with my doctor so uh it's not really like a huge thing but it is at the same time i don't know how, what to say but i've not been okay my ninjas i've not been okay and other than that it is not only just physically it has also been mentally if you follow me on instagram you will know that i did tell you guys that this year i went through something so traumatic that i thought of taking my own life and i know you know i feel like we'll get into those the, the, those type of videos later and i will explain everything everything will make sense you guys but other than that you know i mean great things are happening in my life as well so you know i'm fine now but i was not okay back then you know especially during lockdown that whole period girl it was a mess um but yeah my ninja so one of my ninjas who was supposed to send me some products um called me and she was like oh i me um i don't know why you blocked me on whatsapp but i just wanted to tell you that you know like i want to send so she wanted the address and my heart was so painful so i just want to give this announcement to say that you know if you're somebody that had me on whatsapp and all of a sudden it looks like i blocked you sweetie i did not block you i deleted my whatsapp and um i did not just like delete the app i actually deleted my account so if you send a message it's one tick um because the account does not exist anymore i deleted it the reason why i deleted my whatsapp you guys is because i just felt i needed to rest this year if you were someone that was following me that follows me on instagram and you would watch my insta stories i used to be very active but as time goes you guys like as time has been going i don't know if maybe it's growth or what's happening but um i've been enjoying just keeping to myself in terms of like you know just keeping things to myself i've been enjoying that i've not been sharing too much of my life lately and uh that privacy i've been really enjoying it you guys so with what's up you guys like the I, I don't know what's happening with me you guys i don't know what's happening i don't know if it's age i don't know if god is just getting out but um you know if i could i was going to just shut everything down maybe for a month and then come back now that's not practical number one number two i love my job way too much to can do something like that um but i just felt like you know deleting my whatsapp for now was going to be okay because i feel like since i refrained from sharing from instagram i started sharing a lot on on whatsapp and so even though i don't have a lot of people that you know basically views my statuses and stuff because i don't stop people's numbers mostly i really don't um but uh i just felt like you know i needed a break also from that i just felt like am i oversharing now like what's happening whenever i get upset i would vent there and i just don't want to do that so uh yeah i'm taking a break i might re-download 
WhatsApp with the same numbers maybe next year. I don't know if it will even let me. If not, then it's fine. I'll just use a new number. But uh, yeah, that's basically what's happening. I did not block you. So if we were communicating via WhatsApp and we had, I had agreed to say I'm going to do something for you. You have my numbers, obviously. Send me a message or call me and then we can talk. But as of now, I don't have WhatsApp. Uh, and honestly, you guys, I don't want to lie. I deleted it a day before yesterday. And ever since then, it was like, I don't know why. It was like, I was starting to be way too active over there. So uh, <laughs> it's like, you know, there's this weight that has been lifted and I, I'm enjoying it. So that's what I just wanted to say. I didn't block you. I didn't block anyone. I just deleted my account. My phone is open. Obviously, if you already have my phone numbers, SMS me, call me, buzz me. I'll call you back. It's all good in the hole. Anyway, my ninjas, I do love you guys so, so much. Please do also comment down below. Whenever you guys are going through some stuff, uh, what do you do? Like, I know it's going to be different. Like, for me, social media is my job. So, I can't afford to just say, okay, let me shut everything down. But uh, what do you guys do? Have you ever, like, taken a break from social media? Has it helped you? You know, those kind of stuff. So, please do comment down below. I love you so, so much. And don't stress, I did not block nobody. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye, ninjas.